Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about a little bit of, I guess, my channel. Yeah, so let's talk about the channel a little bit. I am going to buy, like, using real money to buy digital magic online coins <laughs> uh, for Duels of the Planeswalkers and I, or Origins. Yeah, I think it's Duels of the Planeswalkers. And then I'll upload video game pay, play, commentary, and that'll be kind of fun. And those videos should be pretty long. I will be competing against people, and obviously my username is MTG Lion. I don't know if you can actually set up a match, but you probably should be able to. But again, it's Magic Online. I don't, it's a magic product. I'm not digital magic product. So maybe these simple things don't actually seem that simple to them. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I uh, will have... We're not going to have two videos like every day anymore. I decided that was not the way to do it. I decided that it's better to have at least one longer video and then to go more into uh, MTG Finance. Um, the reason MTG Finance, I, I don't like it very much, but at the same time I look around and there's not that many people on YouTube doing it or so some people do it, but they do it at like a level that is uh, vintage or it's beyond what most people can afford so they're telling you to pick up you know this staple that staple and yes um, that's not the speculation I'm primarily interested in I've never speculated on a card more than eight dollars when I mean speculate I mean buy to sell now that's different in my opinion and we can argue this and you can say in the comments that it doesn't make sense to you but it makes sense to me uh, some some cards I will buy. Even if Falia was Stoneforge Mystic, I made the mistake of selling her. I should not have sold my Stoneforge Mystics to Strike Zone Online. That was you know a bad mistake. And as soon as I sold her, I was like, oh crap. Uh, but like for Falia, if Falia went up to like ten, fifteen dollars, and I'd be like, oh, cool. I have a good collection now. So there's some cards that I just would never sell. I would trade them, especially to people who needed them. But I wouldn't sell them for money, right? The goal is the goal of Magic the Gathering to me is not to make money. I consistently lose money <laughs> if it's not clear from this channel <laughs> that this channel is probably a, a net negative. And the goal is not to like have this be a job or a career or like any of that type of stuff, right? Uh, the goal is just to have fun with my subscribers, um, do stuff. Uh, the extra, so Patreons are going to be kind of weird this month, so I just felt like I would just open an extra Dragon Maze fat pack and then just raffle it off. And then next month we can just do it with the fat packs, whatever. Uh, but I felt that was a great way to interact with you guys because you love winning fat packs and you love seeing fat packs being opened. So why not like seeing, seeing your own fat pack being opened on this channel for a reasonable price? I, I that's $60. I've said it so many different ways, like I don't know how else to say it, but the $60 is not actually $60. They take 10% off the top, so what's it called? Patreon takes 10% every single time, so it's actually $54. Now $54, you might say, oh, why do you have WISE tokens? Well, WISE tokens, I love WISE tokens. You guys know I use WISE tokens, and that's just something on my channel. I buy WISE tokens for $1 to $2. Most of them are $1, but some of them are more expensive. I know it depends on the popularity of the... I don't play Weiss. I don't know how to play Weiss. I just have. I just like collecting these promos because like it's Persona. I love Persona. It's all these, you know, angel animes, like Fairy Tale. I watched that one. I watched Prilla Magica, which I'm slaughtering the name of. But yeah, I watched that. And so I know Kyoto... So again, I don't know these animes very well, but it appeals to me, right? I'm like, oh, cool. Kill a kill. Um, I think that kill a kill token is pricey. I, I got to check up the price in that particular one. I think people who watch the channel know which one I'm referring to, and they probably know why that card might be more pricey than the other ones. But that costs money, right? So let's say it's a dollar at least. That's $8. Um, a fat pack costs me between $32 to $35. Uh, depending on how much I buy, if I buy a case, etc., etc., let's assume it's at least thirty-two dollars. So eight plus thirty-two is forty, and these are the minimals. And then I add, you know, extra fat pack in, and let's divide that by like four. 
so then the fat pack is like 25 bucks so now it's like six bucks 46 bucks and then shipping and tracking let's say six dollars which a lot of times is not that's 52 bucks or 54 bucks oh shipping and tracking is eight bucks then that's 54 bucks so there you go like you i don't make a profit of it i and then i have to go to the post office and buy these boxes and stuff like that but i just love the concept of it like i love 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 the concept of opening boxes for you guys as individuals and having these like if i was a personal if i was a dude and i was really interested in like fat pack openings because i do this a lot this type of this fat pack opening idea isn't my idea like it's what everyone at the sports card industry does they open boxes for other people online and they ship them at cost. Well, I mean, they probably make a little bit of money because they're not buying this at 32. They're probably buying, well, they're not buying, no one should be buying this at 32. But, um, like, you're not buying this at $32. I know this one cost me 34. They're probably buying it at, like, because they're stores, right? And that's the concept I like. I like the concept, but I don't want it to, like, dominate my channel. I don't want us to be like, oh, hey, we're going to open packs of this all the time and I'm going to ship you guys out. No, no, one shipping date for the prize, winner of the prize, the Patreon. And yeah, it's not to make money. I think that's the biggest, um, if you do the math, if you do the math, you're going to figure that out really quickly. Because not just you get a fat pack, you could get two fat packs. One dude's going to get two fat packs open for them, at least and that's just because this month is really weird because of the um, 14 booster pack challenge or whatever. Like that one is uh, a little weird because that's a atypical contest and I didn't, wasn't going to do Patreon until now. <laughs> anyway, my point being, yeah, if you guys have good ideas, I want to hear them. I would love to integrate them in the channel, but I love love the concept of uh, taking what I love I personally do I spend my personal money on h hiring people not hiring them buying boxes having them opened and then having the content shipped out to me that's what I love I love that concept I mean I'm used to that concept because I've been doing box breaking since 2000 I've been a participant of this phenomenon it's called box breaking from 2012 and it is so common so common in the sports cards industry. I feel like I've joined probably around since 2012, a break every weekend almost. Sometimes I'll do two breaks depending on, you know, if I get a paycheck or something. I feel like I have a little bit of extra money and I, I love the concept. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. So yeah. Bye guys.